Hey guys, back on here to show you how to put on a plugin on your PSP custom firmware. And the one I'm going to use to show you is called Tweet Display. This one allows you to change, do have effects on your PSP to change the background, have a different color adjustments and mirrored image and effects like that. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I've already downloaded it. So I'll have it to download in my foreshare for you. Once you got your download ready, you want to plug in your SP. Plug in the USB. Just waiting for it to pop up here. Here we go. So, open to view folders. Just get rid of that. <clears throat> None of you should have that. It's annoying. Adobe Photoshop starter, I believe. And here's the root of the memory stick from the PSP. And as you saw in the tweak display file that we opened, we have SE plugins. And so you want to open up SE plugins in the root of your memory stick as well. memory stick SE plugins. This is where you're going to drop the .prx file. As you can see I've already got mine in there. So open up the rare file, open up the SE plugins folder, take the file, drop it in your SE plugins folder like mine. Once that's finished transferring over, go back to the rare file open up the VSH text then you've got your line text copy that open up the root of your memory stick go to the VSH text in your PSP SE plugins folder and as you can see I've already got mine just copy and paste it in there. As you can hear my cat saying hello. So I've already got that in there. That's the VSH text. You also need to do that for your game text file. So as you can see, tweak display is in the game text file as well. Once you have all those three in your PSP, in your SC plugins folder, the game text and the VSH text, PRX file in yours, you can close everything now. Exit USB mode. VSH menu. So I'm going to open mine up. I'm going to go into the recovery menu. Scroll down to your plugins folder. You can't see mine, but you want to scroll down to the VSH tweak display and enable that one. Then you also have to enable the game one. Once you have both enabled, you exit, back exit, 
get out of there. Now we have Tweak Display enabled on our PSP. You're going to have to read the README to get all the controls. Because there's a couple different ways to do the controls. But for the main part, you use triangle and the volume. As you can see, it's changing things. Mirrored options. Getting into the contrast, colors. There's lots of effects. Brightness boost. Contrast boost. Lots to play with. There you go. Tweak display. If you're bored with your theme file, you don't want to change it. Just add a little color to it, maybe. Maybe a little something different. Maybe something happens that looks really cool. You can take a screenshot if you got an ultimate VSH menu. See if mine's enabled. There we go. Screenshot. Saves it in my photos. is right there. The screenshot that I just took. So, tweak display. Three things you need to add to your PSP. Custom firmware. Mine's on 5.00 M33-4. Have fun. Play around with it. And I'll probably come back on with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.